I'm going to show you how to install PS4 firmware 6.10 Preview 2 on any PS4. Even if you're not part of the beta, you can still install it. And you can change your PSN name or whatever the hell you want to do. This might work with newer betas, however Sony might catch on and patch it as well. It's honestly impossible to say. So, to do this, you actually need two USB drives. And they both have to be formatted to FAT32 and preferably at least 4 gigabytes. Alright, so let's get to the PC and get setting up these drives. Once you have copied over those files to your USB drives, what you want to do is on your PS4 is you want to boot into safe mode. So to do that, you need to make sure it's off and then turn, press and hold the power button. And then you'll hear a second beep after like that. Okay, and then it will boot into safe mode. So you see up here it says safe mode and it says you can connect your PS4 using a USB cable and then push the PS button. So you want to do that? Okay. And now you want to head down to update system software. And then you want to plug in the one that can, it's very important, you want to plug in the one that contains the 6.02 update. I know you want 6.10, I know you want 6.10, but you want to plug in the one that is 6.2. Just trust me, okay? I got this. So you want to plug in the one that says 6.2. Like that, okay. And now I'll go update using storage device. And go yes. And I'll see here it says an update is available 6.2. Okay, then once you enter this screen, you want to click X on the update button, and you want to listen closely at your PS4 when it turns off. Alright, and then once it turns off, you want to flip the switch at the, at the back. And you want to turn it back on, and then here's what you do, okay? You need to take out this USB and put in the 6.10 USB. Okay, and now finally boot it back into safe mode. Boot it back into safe mode. Um, hold down the button until it beeps again. Boot back up to here. And I'll go in now the new USB and the 6.10. Head on to update system software. Update via USB and go. And now 6.10 beta 2. I'll click yes and then copy add that copy over. Now when this copies over, you will get an error. Okay? You will get an error code once it's finished copying. I'll show you that in a sec. You see? It's not that file cannot be used as a PS4, but because you already copied over the 6.02, it put your PS4 into update mode, and then you copied over the 6.10 update over the top of it. So what will happen is when you restart your PS4, it will already be in update mode, and it will update the 6.10. There you go. 
6.10, please you too.